You ready for another episode? Hello! Welcome to the start of another project. Today we are starting the Lift Coaster Marble Drop from Rocker. The first piece you will build is an oval tool used for measurement and to push discs on rods later in the project. Now we have to build the base. We will create a framework built from a single base piece, shown here. Next, push in some horizontal pieces in the lower part of the base. Ed is making rather a show of the effort to push the pieces in. It's not that difficult. Add a cross piece. And now add two pieces that will be coupled together. Lay them out in proper orientation, then add the connecting piece. Finally, push the pieces into the base. Don't worry about Lake and Aith. He's just resting comfortably. Add another short piece. Then add a full width piece at the bottom. While putting in the next piece, Lake and Aith decided to cause some trouble. The final long piece goes in at the top. Push in all three pieces again to make sure they are secure. Several other shorter pieces are added. Be careful the orientation is correct. Lake and Aith has come back to help. I'm not sure this will end well. The upper section starts to fill in. Some more long pieces. Next, add two post pieces that will hold part of the lifting mechanism. Oops! Ed put them in the wrong place. Fortunately, no glue was used. Now the pieces fit like they should. Next, start making the elevator car, adding rectangular pieces to two posts. There's a little circular cutout on one side of the assembly. This is where the marble goes to weigh the car down. Be sure you select the smaller marble from the kit. A couple of other pieces lock the marble in place. Now place a metal rod through the holes at the top of the car. Then use some sticky paper circles to lock the rod in place. That's it for the elevator car and the base for now. Put them aside to start work on the first tower. Punch out one of the side pieces of the first tower. Find two rectangular pieces to push into the bottom of the tower. Getting them both in is a bit tricky. Be patient and keep pushing. Next, put in the metal rod, one of two. These act as guides for the elevator car, but first you need to wax it. Place the rod in the hole in the base on the right side. Also, add another piece to the base of the tower. Then put the elevator on the rod and let it sink to the base. Neat! Now lock the top of the rod in place with a small wood piece. Also, add a piece at the top to tie the parts of the tower together. A second piece is added to make sure the rod doesn't move. Next, add the second rod. Don't forget to wax it. Add a small piece at the top of the rod. Now take the other side piece and join it with the rest of the tower. Start at the base or the top, but make sure both points are fully joined. Then push the piece at the top of the second rod into place. It's even trickier than the first one because of the enclosed space. Make sure the elevator car can go up and down the poles easily.
Now, place the back piece of the tower. Either before or after adding it, make sure to wax the slot in the center. Add two side pieces to the tower. Add a couple of supports toward the top of the tower. Finally, add a cross piece at the bottom and lock it to the tower with two small pieces. Ed's putting it in the wrong place. He'll notice eventually. There, the tower is complete. Sort of. Now to put it on the base. Something seems to be wrong. I wonder what it could be. Ooh. Ed realizes he made a mistake in placing the cross piece. Well, everything is reversible. Now the tower goes in smoothly. It does take some thumb strength, though. Once the tower is in, there is one more assembly to finish up this tower. First, build a box. Next, add a hook. Finally, put the hook under the elevator car. There is a hole at the top of the hook that should go between the two upright pieces you put into the base a while ago. Find a metal rod of the right size, add a plastic disc to one end, and thread the rod through the holes in the uprights and the hook piece. Finally, push the second plastic disc onto the other side of the rod. Make sure everything works and is securely in place. Enjoy your first tower. We'll be back next time with the main gear assembly. See you then!